In the last few years, we saw the American dream completely change from working as much as possible, make as much money as you can, to early retirement, where you don't have to make huge amounts of money to live your life as you want it. And in this video, I'm actually going to present you a few ways that you can use to reach early retirement in your 30s. Now, on paper, early retirement is super easy. You just have to save as much as money as you can and invest all of this instantly. But in reality, it is way harder and you guys are going to have to work a lot to reach that goal. So please don't think this is something easy to do. It's really not and watch this video until the very end so that you don't miss any important information about early retirement. Now when we speak about saving money most people believe that saving for example 500 a month is enough for you to retire early when in reality it's really not like that. People say that on average you're gonna have to save between 70 to 90 percent of your income for you to be able to retire in your 30s. Now it looks way harder I know it but you're gonna have to live a frugal life if you want to retire early that's just the way it works. So keep in mind that every single time I'm gonna speak about saving money in this video I'm actually going to speak about the extreme ones so 70 to 90 percent of your income is what i call saving money if you can't save all that amount of money every single month well unfortunately you're not going to be able to retire in your 30s that's just the way it is but you'll still be able to retire earlier than if you just did a normal job maybe in your 40s or in your 50s which is still better than 65. so we spoke about saving money but what is really important when you want to reach financial independence and retiring early is to invest as much as you can because if you just save your money to yourself you're never going to be able to live off of that especially with low interest. But now, when you invest your money, this is another story. If you can invest huge amounts of money, you can actually live off those investments by either having dividend payments or by manually withdrawing money every single year. A lot of people are actually doing that already. But when you speak about investing, it's way easier to imagine what it is because every single cent that you save in the first place is gonna go directly to an investing account. But by the way, I didn't build myself at all. My name is Alexi and here on this channel, we speak about personal finance finance and how you can make, invest and enjoy your money. Now only about 7% of you guys actually subscribe to the channel at the moment which is not enough at all. What are you doing? So please make sure to turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss any future uploads about personal finance content. Also I just created a buy me a coffee page so if you want to support the channel, support me and support the content that I make, you can just do that. The link is in the description down below and I also have a discord server that's free but also paid if you want to. So we spoke about saving money and investing money but one way to reach early retirement way faster is just to earn more money in the first place or save more money on the other hand. And if you have no idea how you can actually achieve that, I got many videos on the channel about how you can increase your wealth or how you can save more money in the first place. But here's a list of a few things you can actually do to earn more money or save more money depending on what you need to do. Now the first tip that I'm going to give you is to increase your productivity because of course if you can work smarter but not really harder, you're going to get better results. Either if you have your own business, you can optimize stuff so that you have more time for yourself or to work even more in those hours or if you work for somebody else you can eventually get a raise if you get a better productivity than other people so the second advice that I got for you guys is actually to work from home and you might be like why does that give me more money well if you work for yourself and you can work from home what is super cool is that you won't have any fixed hours you can work whenever you want and especially you are working from yourself and that can change everything when it comes to working for yourself because you're not working for somebody else you're not making them money you are making yourself your own money. So if you are young enough and you are able to take this risk to work for yourself, have your own business, this might be a great advice for you. And the third advice kind of connects with the second one and that's working online. Because having your own physical business is great but it's gonna require you just like a regular job to work hours and hours. When if you're selling digital products online or regular products online, you can just sell products even though you're sleeping. You don't have to be awake to make money or you don't have to be working to make money. Some people can buy your products when you're playing with your children. So that in my opinion is really important and when you work from home and when you work online, you can then scale your business and that is something amazing that you can't really do in physical labor. You can employ new people to work for you so you pay them but they make you more money on the other hand or you can also scale with Facebook ads and other digital marketing platforms. So in my opinion working from home got so many advantages and working online also. So this was how to make more money but how can you save more money because this is super important if you make huge amounts of money but you spend it all of course you're never gonna reach financial independence because you just don't have any more money for you. But the first way and the thing that I recommend to anybody every time I know it's so annoying but create yourself a budget if you have a budget for every fixed expenses your electricity bills your car your rent your groceries all that stuff is together you can then spend exactly what you need every single month and all the money that you have on the side you can use it for yourself your investments and ways for you to make more money with the money you just earned that's something that not enough people do and that's breaking
refreshing my brain every single time. Now, I have a way for you guys to make and save even more money, and that's by subscribing to the channel. I know, right? That's a no-brainer. Everybody knows that if you subscribe right now to the channel, you're gonna make and save way more money. I'm just kidding. Do whatever you want. But please, do all of these advices together, and you will be on the right path to financial independence. Also, did you know that there was an entire community dedicated only for early retirements that called the FIRE community. Now, the FIRE community stands for the Financial Independence Retire Early Movement. It's an entire community of people working for only one thing, and that's early retirement. And if you've never heard of them before, you can find them on Facebook, Reddit, on YouTube, every single platform, there are people that are looking to go and retire early. So another way for you guys to reach early retirement is just to follow these people in the first place. Some of them already reach early retirement, and some of them are on their way to reach it. So if you follow their journey, and you do what they're doing, you can actually reach it way faster in my opinion. Now they created many different ways for you guys to reach early retirement, but here are the five mains that you need to know that goes from the easiest to the hardest one. The first one on the list being the Barista Fire. Now the Barista Fire is the easiest to achieve because you're not really retired in the first place. You are semi-retired. You are working on a part-time job to pay your expenses when on the other hand your investments are making you enough money for you to live but you're gonna have to live a really frugal life with approximately less than $40,000 a year. So you need to live a frugal life and have a lot of investments on the side. And you're still gonna have to work on the side to make your money. But that's one way to reach semi-retirement. Now, the lean fire is really interesting because this is the first one in which you are actually retired. You are not working at all. You have enough invested for you to live off your investments. But the lean fire is really hard to achieve because you have to be super frugal. Just like the barista fire, you're making a 40,000 or less per year. And you're gonna have to live with that without working a job. But you are technically retired, so you can do whatever you want, just stay frugal. Then you have the coast fire. And what's interesting about the coast fire is that you're starting to have a little more money than just being super frugal all the time. And you can actually, for example, go to vacation from time to time or have some hobbies in which you need to spend money to do them. And the coast fire is just an improvement from the lean fire. You just earn more money and you have a little bit more freedom for yourself. And then we reach the financial independence. And what's financial independence, you may ask? Well, that's when you never have to work again for you. And you can still live the lifestyle you're having right now by earning money from investing it in the first place. So imagine this is just exactly the life you're living right now, except you don't have have to work anymore to live. And now the last on this list and the hardest to achieve is the fat fire. Now the fat fire is super hard to achieve for a few reasons. Now first of all you're gonna have to earn more than 200,000 per year in order to be in the fat fire category. That means that you will have to invest millions of dollars to be able to live this lifestyle. But of course if you can reach this point in life where you are in the fat fire you're never gonna have to worry about money and you can do whatever you want in your life without ever worrying about money again. Now there are many things that you have to consider when it comes to early retirement. The first thing is how much do you spend every single year? Because of course, as I said before, the more you spend, the less money you're gonna have able to invest your money on the other hand. Now, the next variable that you need to pay attention to is how much you already saved. And the money that you already saved will become the money that you already have invested because you'll have to invest this money. Even if it's safe right now, the savings account really safe, you don't want it to be there because this money is most likely losing value over time with inflation. So you're gonna have to transfer all the money that you saved into an investing account. And finally, of course, how much money do you make? Now that you have all these variables in mind, it's gonna be really easy for you to work it out. Boom, it's me from the future. My lights went off, so I have to continue right now. I was going to speak about how you can calculate the amount that you need invested so that you can live a normal life. And that, of course, will depend a lot on how much money you need to leave. Of course, if you can live with 20,000 a year or if you really want 60,000 a year, the amount invested will be way different. So right now I'm gonna speak about a general rule that you can use actually to calculate how much money you need invested to live your life. The way it works is pretty easy. You just take how much money you spend in one year and you multiply it by 33. Now this is called the 3% rule and the way it's supposed to work is that you take the money that you have invested, you take 3% out of this money per year and that's gonna be the money that you need for yourself. So that's why we are multiplying by 33 because since we take 3%, if you take 100 divided by three, it's 33. So for example, if you want to live with $30,000 per year, you're going to have to invest about $990,000, which is a lot. But if you want to be like the average American that likes to earn about $68,000 per year, well, for this, you're going to have to invest more than $2.2 million. So that's why living frugally can help you reach financial independence way quicker. And for example, with my $54,000 invested, I will be able to withdraw about $1,600 per year. So yeah. 
still pretty far from financial independence. So now, of course, the 3% rule is based on the fact that your investments are gonna grow about 3% per year. But now, if you have investments that are growing faster, let's say 4% per year, well, the 3% rule changes. It won't be the same years that you have to wait and the same amount of money that you're gonna have to invest to retire early. So just by going to 4% per year of growth for investments, you're only gonna have to invest about 25 times the amount of money you spend in a year. So if you get bigger returns on your investments, you're gonna have the possibility to retire with less money invested, of course. But now, of course, if you increase the return of your investments, it means that you are taking more risk on the other end. And that's a problem because if you are only relying on these investments to live your life, well, of course, if you get a big crash in the stock market and all your stocks are going down 20%, you'll be in a pretty hard situation. So one way you can actually counter that will be to invest in multiple assets. For example, you can invest only in the stock market, but invest into dividends, growth, and value if you want to. That way, if there's a one second in the stock market that is going down, you might be good because you have other investments that are not covering the exact same topic, so you'll be good for the long term. But now, the best way to be really secured about all these investments is to diversify in multiple investments. For example, let's say that you have about $50,000 invested in the stock market, but you have $100,000 in real estate. This, in my opinion, is the safest way to invest your money because if you want to retire with your investments and one of the stocks that you're holding is crashing a lot, you don't want it to have a big impact on your life. Now, if you have multiple stocks and also you invest into real estate, of course, you'll be way safer than if you just had some stocks. So don't forget to diversify your investments and the way you invest your money too. But now that you know that you need to save and invest your money, go and watch one of these two videos that can help you reach this goal. Of course, don't forget to check the description down below if you want to support me on buying me a coffee or you can just subscribe to the channel that would mean the world to me. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.